Well, good evening. You're very welcome back to the channel. Here I am at Clock Castle in County Down. This is a 1,000 year old Norman castle and we're going to walk up here. There's some traffic behind me. We're going to walk up here and see this old castle. So it was built by John de Courcy a thousand years ago. John de Courcy is a very famous man who was in Ireland, conquered many lands and he built many castles around County Down like this. And if you want to, you can stop at this picture and read a little bit about how it would have looked and how it would have been, um, well, how, how it would have been constructed and how it would have looked about a thousand years ago. So come on with me as we go up and have a look at the Mott and Bailey. So you can see there, these old Norman constructions, they were surrounded by a bit of a ditch. There's the Bailey there. Um, and of course there would have been some sheds and barns built on this. So let's just climb up here. It's a bit of a workout. The grass hasn't been overly well cut, but here it is. So you can see here, um, 900, 1000 years ago, people would have built their sheds and their houses and kept their animals here. And they would have had a magnificent view, not of the petrol station, but of Slave Crib, outside Dromara, and then over towards the forests of Drumkira. And then where do you see this? Here's the Mourne Mountains have just come into play. The tallest one there, just on the left, is Slave Donard. Absolutely beautiful. So we're on top of this Norman construction and we're gonna we're gonna go up now and we're gonna see the tower. So this um, beautiful ruins um, was built, I think the sign said it was built by John de Courcy in 1177. It's possibly started before that. We're gonna go up these. I don't think these stairs are a thousand years old, but these have been put in by the council, which is very helpful. And we're going to go up and see the old round tower. Now, apparently the original um, castle fell into ruins and, and then it was rebuilt in the 15th century. So we're going to go up and see what it looks like. Lovely views, isn't that class? And we'll just go into the, the ruined towers here. And maybe if you're from Northern Ireland, Perhaps you've been here on a primary school excursion or an education excursion. I always think these windows are class. This is where the defenders would have been able to, they had plenty of room here. And they would have shot out their bow and arrow to defend against the attackers that would have came up the steep slopes of the Mott. So, absolutely beautiful to see the tower here at Clock Castle. Look at that. Look at the view of the morns there. Imagine all the people in the generations gone by that would have tried to defend this fortification. There's a bit of a drop there as well. <laughs> it's about 40 or 50 feet so we'll try and not fall down. So you can get a bit of a sense of the land as well. If you're looking out towards Seaford there and then just as the lorry is heading towards the road towards Down Patrick. Of course, that very famous place where St. Patrick is allegedly buried. That's in one of my previous videos. And we'll just walk over here. Look at that, County Down, absolutely beautiful. Just past the, just past those far hills is the Irish Sea. I think that might be Down Patrick there. Let's zoom in. Down Patrick. Absolutely lovely. So I hope you we hope you enjoyed this wee video um, of Clock Castle and the remains from the days of John de Courcy in the 11th century. Goodbye here from Clock Castle.